Hi everybody, I want to do a small lecture for the benefit of the fourth year students of the Home Bible College. This is lecture number seven. And uh, the, the particular point of this uh, small lecture is this, that the Christian deacon works alongside elders looking after church buildings and other matters such as treasury ship and secretary ship and so on. Now it's possible okay very possible that teaching elders pastors become overwhelmed by the ministry it's very common um, one of the great problems facing um, eldership and pastoral teaching ministry is overwork most pastors do far 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 too much in fact in a study recently it was worked out that most people in a church think that a pastor should work for about a hundred hours a week that of course is completely impractical they cannot do that sort of work they cannot do everything and the purpose of the deacon is to release pastors and evangelists and teachers to, to concentrate upon the work that is unique to them now the spiritual qualifications for deacons and for pastors and, and evangelists are the same spiritual qualifications are the same but the tasks are different it is only the elders and evangelists that have the specific task of ministering the word prayer and the ministry of the word their job is to concentrate on prayer and ministering the word now if you're a if you are a, if you are a, a pastoral elder your job is going to be the ministry of the word within the church if you're an evangelist it's going to be about prayer and the ministry of the word outside of the church but the important thing is that both the pastor and the evangelist have to concentrate and work in tandem with those who um, are concentrating on this particular eldership ministry but the deacon the deacon's job is no less important but it's different there's no requirement for them to be involved in any preaching or teaching or evangelism their job is to sweep the floor their job is to clean the windows their job is the painting of the door their job is the caring for the sick their job is the providing of food their job is the visitation of the sick their job is moving the chairs there's a, there's a vast vast range of tasks that deacons do that evangelists and pastors do not need to do now we must not think that these things are beneath the pastor or the elder far from it you see the chief characteristic of a pastor elder or an evangelist elder is to serve and there's nothing that delights a pastor and and, and evangelist than serving in some practical way after all uh, we're all called to serve one another but the apostles are our example in all this right at the very early days of the acts of the apostles they found that caring for the poor was a huge task in fact the task itself was fraught with difficulties and problems and what the apostles did is they encouraged the church they said look you look out from amongst yourselves men who will be able to take on this task of looking after the poor widows and when you've made your choice and they gave them the criteria how to choose people of that for that, that task and they said and when you've appointed these people we will confirm your appointment and they said what we will do is we will concentrate on the thing that God has called us to and God has called us to prayer and to the ministry of the word now for pastors and evangelists it's the same they're both elders and they're called upon to minister the word and that involves study a lot of study and it involves a lot of prayer now then we will concentrate on that and you deacons you concentrate on your work but let's not run away here let's not think that preaching the word and evangelizing in the gospel is the only type of spiritual work it isn't 
the work of the deacon is spiritual work. The, t the seven deacons that were chosen by, by the church in the days of the apostles were chosen for their spiritual character. You see, sweeping the floor, cleaning the windows, caring for the sick, visiting the sick, feeding the hungry, they're all spiritual works. They're spiritual works. They need spiritual men and women. And those tasks are tasks that are to be done for the Lord. They don't involve preaching, but they are nevertheless spiritual work, and that's the most important thing. The work that you do, whether it's serving tables, whatever it might be, it's to be done for the Lord. And it's to be done by men and women who are filled with the Holy Spirit. And they do it to bring glory to God. And they do it to release the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists. To enable them to concentrate on the ministry that God has called them to. Now then, I'm hoping that this is of use to you, of help to you. And we look forward to speaking to you next time we come around. So have a great day. God bless you. Bye for now.